Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 day has a particularly volatile session, showing a hammer formation after uh, Friday's uh, down, down day yesterday. Markets recovered as the uh, Chinese and the Asian sessions uh, continue to uh, provide good price action movements and uh, Chinese firms still looking quite, uh, quite strong, earnings still looking quite decent. And um, if we have a look at some other markets such as Japan 225, we're seeing some quite interesting moves over there as well. So on the right side of potential resistance at 16969 at the moment on the US 30. So looking at the UK 100, uh, again, lots of volatility around here. I'm not really a massive fan of these candles, to be honest. This is a, um, kind of showing that there is a lot of selling pressure on the way up. It looks to be that 55 period SMA is acting as quite a staunch uh, potential resistance level on there. Not a lot of action on the uh, UK 100 today. Um, same with Germany 30, it seems to be a bit of a waste of time. Um, Equity-wise, is the Asian markets that are springing into life at the moment. Japan 225 showing the greatest conviction, especially with those decent moves in dollar-yen overnight. Dollar basket, um, a dollar index doing particularly well at this stage. Uh, next potential resistance looking at 15.828, uh, even the back of Japanese consumer spending slowing uh, last month as well. But um, that breakout in dollar yen, which we'll be looking at right now, uh, on the intraday charts is a lot more prevalent, but this is a decent set of action on here. And I can see that um, Euro dollar is still trying to wrestle control from the USD as well. It's, it's really, the Euro is uh, getting spanked about a little bit right now. Euro yen is also worth having a look at. Um, but yeah, it will give you a bit of an idea that um, the US dollar is in its element right now against the wide back currencies. And uh, the dollar yen move is helping to fuel Japan 225 uh, attempt to break through its next period of resistance. Um, West Texas crude is getting hit by, by multiple different um, fundamental factors. A lot of uh, crude positives, you know, there's a big massive fire in AAA right now uh, at the, uh, as you know, there's battles between rebel um, militias uh, trying to take over the airport. There's a, a huge uh, oil-based fire at one of their major ports. Um, obviously, you still got uh, Russia, Ukraine, and everything else. Uh, but now there's a bit of worry about uh, lessening uh, demand for um, for crude, and there's an uh, increase in inventories. So that's adding extra pressure to West Texas crude. The last couple of days, we've got these long mega candles, but we are making a series of, of, of lower lows on the tips of these candles. Um, Crude oil needs to break that pattern if it's going to stand a chance of getting back above 103. Otherwise, 100 spot 60 is the next potential support. Um, gold isn't doing a huge amount either, actually. Flattening out on the intraday charts. Uh, we had a decent spike there on Friday, but that increasing um, uh, momentum on US dollar is putting a cap on the gains on there. And there's not the geopolitical risk seems to be largely brushed off by most of the markets right now. So Euro dollar still is where a lot of eyes will be. And certainly if you're an FX trader, your focus will already be looking at this. We are on the wrong side of potential support at one spot, 34.55. Um, lots of pressure on the Euro right now. The US dollar um, is in this element with Janet Yellen um, uh, with the Fed minutes on Wednesday and uh, US GDP due, and obviously ADP private payrolls, and then obviously Friday you've got non-farm payrolls, uh, and these are all things that uh, can have a big impact on something like Euro dollar, uh, especially with weakening um, macro data from the Eurozone, especially in Germany, uh, putting the onus on a Euro rate cut, uh, whereas even though Janet Yellen's been quite dovish on the US dollar, um, she has uh, said that she'll be bound by the strength of the employment figures. So non-farm payrolls uh, on Friday could be a big catalyst for moves on euro dollar. So keep an eye on that. Um, I'm finishing up with GBP USD. It's also on the wrong side of uh, potential support slash now resistance. One spot 70 pretty much. Um, Short term support by the 55 period SMA. Technicals are slowly moving into oversold, but not yet uh, hit the sweet spot. Next potential support, one spot 69.23. Economic data wise, you've got US consumer confidence today, which might be a, a small um, sliver of activity on that one. Uh, but Wednesday, you've got uh, consumer confidence for the Eurozone, ADP private payrolls, US GDP, crude oil inventories, and then the federal funds FOMC uh, rate at 7 p.m. UK time. And then obviously, um, there's a fair amount actually on Thursday as well. You've got jobless claims, PMI. Uh, more euros on jobless rates and employment from the from Germany and obviously Friday we've talked a lot about the non-farm payrolls day in. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.